Welcome to math. We're back at it. So today we're going to go one step further than what we did yesterday. We talked about getting the least or the fewest number of coins and we watched a small video which I also included on this page that you can watch and practice along with her. However, I wanted to talk to you and go over it just one more time with us um, as a class. So again, we're going to be talking about the least, some people will call it the fewest, number of coins. And when we are talking about the least and the fewest number of coins, we need to remember the word exchanges. Okay, that's an important vocabulary word for us. Exchanges, remember that basically means we're taking one thing and we're trading it for another. All right, exchanges. So I have my values written in my coins for us today. But um, I want to talk about those exchanges. Remember, we sang a song yesterday to help us remember. Five pennies make a nickel, two nickels make a dime, two dimes and a nickel make a quarter every time. So let's look at those exchanges first. So we start with five pennies make a nickel. Okay, so we need to look. We do have pennies. Let's count them. How many, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we have six. So we can make that exchange. It's five pennies make a nickel. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to cross out each one of those. Five pennies make a nickel. So we're going to put a nickel up there instead. All right. Five pennies make a nickel. Two nickels make a dime. We could do that but I'm gonna go one step further. Two dimes and a nickel make a quarter every time. So we could make this exchange, but then we'd have 40 cents and we'd have to break it apart so we can make the exchange for the quarter. Because remember, we want the fewest number of coins. So this would give us four coins, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five coins. But if we take this one out for the quarter, now we're down to one, two, three, four coins, which is the least amount or the fewest amount of coins that we could have for this amount of money. So now we're going to do our running totals. Remember the running totals go below. Um, in this case, remember our coins are in different order, like our 25 is not first. So you can always start counting your running total with your biggest coins. I do that all the time. I think that's the easiest for me rather than going... 10 and then 25, especially if you have a penny first and then a quarter and then other coins, it gets a little hard. So I'm going to go ahead and start my running total with the largest coin. So 25 and then I'm going to add another dime. So that's 25, 35 and then a nickel would be 40 and a penny would be 41. So over here to the side we need to write it with 41 cents, but remember we also need to be writing our amounts of money with our dollar sign to make sure that we can remember that too. So both of these are 41 cents. All right, I have one more set of coins for us to look at today to do this. And then remember, I'm gonna have you watch the video of um, the lady that we talked about and stopped and we worked on with that video yesterday. So we're gonna watch that again today, but we're also gonna do this one last set as a class. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to actually pause your video and I want you to do this one. And then when you're done, I want you to unpause it and come back and see if you got what I got. Okay? All right. Pause your video and go. All right. So hopefully you've unpaused, you have your work done, and you're going to do it like I am. So I'm going to do mine, and hopefully yours will look just like mine. So I'm going to start with my song. Five pennies make a nickel. Two nickels make a dime. Ooh, looky here. Two dimes and a nickel. Woohoo! We got another exchange. Make a quarter every time. There we go. All right. So, looking at my coins, I can't make any more exchanges. Four is the least amount of coins I can come up with. So, now I'm going to start my running total. So, 25, another quarter, two quarters are 50 cents. And a dime is 60, and a penny is 61. So, we have 61 cents there or 61 cents. Remember when you're writing it with your signs, you have to have a sign either here or here, not both, okay? 
But remember, when you have that dollar sign, you must have that decimal point. And remember, that separates our dollars from our change. All right. So next, I want you to watch our video that we talked about and worked on yesterday, and then you'll be ready to go.